Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav, welcome to this channel. In this uh, video, I'm going to share about a few of my learnings uh, on this topic, uh, who is a Bodhisattva and how we can get started on our way to become a Bodhisattva. Uh, this has like uh, some of my personal uh, inclination towards learning on this topic for, for a while, so I thought to research on it. Uh, the uh, links for my research are given in the uh, description below so you can uh, check out in detail those particular links i'm sharing the main learnings that i have got uh, uh, from my research right so bodhi bodhi sattva it's a sanskrit word uh, bodhi is meaning awakening and sattva means being so bodhi sattva is a being who is on the way to becoming enlightened now bodhi sattva is an ordinary person who takes up a course in his or her life that moves him or her in the direction of the Buddha by cultivating bodhicitta. Bodhicitta is a mind of love, a mind which is full of love and compassion. We cultivate it, we try to move ourselves in direction of the Buddha. That is what our goal becomes. Anyone who wants to strive to live the highest ideal of relieving others' suffering. So our one purpose, our one goal in life becomes that we want to help others relieve from the suffering because this world as buddha said in the first noble truth itself life is suffering the entire world is filled with suffering so our aim is to become a buddha and help people help relieve the sufferings of other people so it is said that what bodhisattvas do is that they intentionally choose the bodhisattvas who are very advanced they they have full freedom to liberate, to uh, achieve nirvana, right? Move away, uh, uh, liberate from the cycle of birth and death, which is one of the goals of B Buddha's teaching. But they intentionally remain back uh, in this cycle to relieve the, uh, the suffering of others till the last soul who is suffering, right? They will not become enlightened till there is a one last soul in this cycle in this cycle who is suffering so that is the the deepest compassion that they have right so they are beings full of compassion now bodhisattva is covered in the mahayana uh, tradition of buddhism i will come to the background about this uh, uh, f in, further in the in this video but i believe that it is not related to any particular uh, teaching or any particular religion anyone has the power to start on the way to become a bodhisattva. It's not really to only like Buddhists can become bodhisattva. Anyone who genuinely wants to relieve has made his life one goal to relieve the suffering of others is a bodhisattva. Right? Now, bodhisattvas live by the ideal of interconnectedness. Why we want to, you know, uh, 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 relieve the suffering of others? Because there is an interconnectedness that a bodhisattva feels with all the living beings. What he thinks is that Everything is flowing through him. All the sufferings. So basically Bodhisattva thinks that he or she is only partaking a limited amount of suffering uh, through him uh, 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 in his life. Uh, and a massive suffering is there. Right? So he is only... So the entire suffering is like a, only a part he is experiencing. But there is so much suffering out there. Right? So he understands this interconnectedness that he has with all living beings now ordinary people live by uh, like narrow live by karma right the karma drives them right their latent tendencies drive them but for a bodhisattva he lives through a vow right he lives through a vow that he v o w vow right a uh, uh, vow to help relieve the suffering of all living beings that is the difference ordinary person lives unconsciously and his karma uh, directs his way of life but for a bodhisattva, it is the vow that directs his way of life. Bodhisattvas not only live the precepts, but also they are ready to break the precepts if it benefits all beings and they are also ready to face the consequences. They are also ready to, they are also ready to go to hell for alle alleviating the others. If alleviating others' sufferings causes them to go in hell realms, they are also ready for that. Such is the depth of their compassion for and and the and the commit their commitment of relieving others suffering another background let's come to the background of 
bodhisattva now uh, in theravada tradition which is the uh, the uh, the school of elders uh, uh, very early buddhism they are rec- they recognize only the buddha as a bodhisattva right and their goal is basic- basically to become an arhat right a fully enlightened one right but in mahayan they uh, so what what happened was that after the buddha's death the monks who were there who, who, they became you know they become kind of selfish they became focused on only their salvation and they treated the lay people the lay lay people only as a means to you know help them sustain and not someone who can benefit from the teachings of the buddha so around the first century uh, uh, after christ there is uh, amongst the lay community and the monastic practitioners there was a desire to popularize buddhism and help uh, buddha's teachings to relieve the suffering and from this movement came the mahayana path which basically uh, aimed at spreading the buddhist thought to all people regardless of their social background and in this mahayana teachings was the idea of bodhicitta a mind of love and which was personified by the bodhisattva so bodhisattva is a person that personifies the bodhicitta mind of love and who sees the potential of enlightenment in every soul who sees the capacity of every soul to become a buddha and vows to help them on their path of awakening and to get free from suffering so soon what happened was mahayana sutras became began to appear and and it encouraged the practitioners to develop the quality of bodhicitta bodhicitta in them so there are two sutras i i am sorry if the name i am not able to uh, pronounce correctly ugra pracha sutra that is the first sutra basically this sutra counsels the students on the bodhisattva path giving practical instructions another sutra is vimal kirti nirdesha sutra which focuses on bringing the deep teachings of buddhism to the ordinary people now on these both sutras thiknath han who is a, a very famous zen buddhist monk he has written a commentary on both the sutras in his book bodhisattva bodhisattva path so if you need want to get more clarity on these two sutras main sutras you can go and buy the book the link in the is in the description right now how the bodhisattva ideal is practiced now in mahayana schools they they there is something that uh, four great vo- vows so maybe i can cover that in a separate video they take the four great vows and they practice the invoking of the they are like ceremonies small small beautiful ceremonies they have where they invoke the bodhisattva's names for example in the plan village community of zen master thiknath han they uh, they have this ritual they have a proper sutra uh, where they invoke the bodhisattva's names i have given the link in the description if you want to check out right so uh, then all the major major main revered bodhisattvas like uh, uh, shritir garba manjushri avalokiteshwara they are regularly prayed to and given offerings with the expectation that they will help and support because they are in the they are believed to be in the very higher realms and from there they are helping other people also who have taken the bodhisattva vows and blessing them and helping them so that they can continue their work right so so that is practiced now we come to how to be a bodhisattva right so how so ideal thing is how we can get started on this path of being a bodhisattva so uh, there is a very good article that i came across in lions roar i am giving the link to that you can check out that so this so it's by thiknath han and some other uh, uh, masters so they say that although it's a almost an unattainable item uh, uh, unattainable ideal given our latent uh, defi- defilements and our you know mental defilements and everything but we can all be bodhisattva in training right so if at today we we decide that we want to put uh, others interests first and help relieve their suffering in their mind see some things so i am just giving my thoughts here some things we can do in person like when i am listening i am listening in order to liberate a uh, free other person from his suffering allowing the other person empty her heart or his heart right those practical things i can do but some things i can do with my mind also i can from my mind i can make it like a like a mobile tower which gives the signals of peace and compassion to liberate the beings i can do something like listening to the great bell chant actually i'm uh, just sharing my personal experience i went through a very very difficult time in 2021 and the great bell chant by thiknath han i in my suffering i listened to that chant 
and actually that chant is all about you know may the sound of the bell i will i will share i will share the wording for that chant later on in this video and it's all about uh, liberating others sufferings right so what basically we need to do is that every action every thought that we have we need to cultivate we need to create those positive thoughts for the good of all creation creatures we can like pray we every time we get an opportunity we can just mentally pray may all beings be happy may all beings be free because this thought this thought can help free the beings right so there is a very good line uh, from a stanford university article i came across that uh, it, it says when a bodhisattva sits down he thinks may i help all beings to sit on the throne of enlightenment when he lies on the right side he thinks may i lead all beings to nirvana where he washes his hands he thinks may i remove the sinful propensities of all creatures right even if you see uh, in the plum village tradition of thiknat han which i practice they have the gathas right uh, 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 gathas which uh, gathas or poems right practice poems where they have the same thing like for smaller smaller activities uh, for example putting the uh, shoes back in the uh, uh, putting the shoes organizing the shoes you know we just say that when we do when we are doing that we say that all the beings who use these shoes may they be mindful and may they be free from suffering right okay then i read somewhere uh, one of the articles that life of the bodhisattva is relating with all sentient beings as guests right think of everyone as guests like if some guest comes to your home how you treat them you treat them with respect you, you know that one one day or after a few hours they will leave so you know that this relationship is impermanent but you want to be your best you want to give them the best hospitality so we have to even treat our family members as friends as guests see if someone is a guest or suppose you think you're traveling in a train right you know that it's a uh, the company with the other people in the train is only for a few hours you will go and they will go in their own ways but with for that few hours you want to be good respectful right so this is how life is so we treat everyone as guests we spread we generate the energy uh, see our we meditate on the energy of compassion we generate and make it so strong and then we spread it to others right uh, uh, now there is a, a, a saying by ogyen trinley dorje the 17th kodmapa he, he says that we have to have unbearable compassion it must be as it must be as unbearable as the world suffering is uh, the our compassion should be unbearable because the suffering is unbearable right uh, so he says that we reflect on the intense suffering Uh, of all sentient beings in the six realms of samsara and we reflect on the connection of these beings our connection with these beings and we we create a compassion within us that cannot bear to uh, see their suffering any longer then what we can do is that we can study about the bodhisattvas like avtok avlokteshwara or manjushri in more detail about their lives right we can study about that then we can follow the noble eightfold path rigorously see again all traditions of buddhism they come back on the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path so what we can do is that we can start practicing the noble eightfold path we can start studying and practicing it more uh, detail uh, start being more and more uh, aware and mindful in our day to day conduct uh, then something which i personally do is that i listen to the great great bell chant Uh, by thiknat han which gives me a lot of peace and the link is there in the description if you want to uh, listen it's a beautiful chant by master thiknat han so uh, i will just uh, before closing this i will just uh, say the lyrics uh, the wordings of that chant it says it goes like this may the sound of this bell penetrate deep into the cosmos even in the darkest spots living beings are able to hear it clearly so that all suffering in them cease understanding comes to their heart and they transcend the path of sorrow and death the universal dharma door is already open the sound of the rising tide is heard clearly the miracle appears a beautiful child appears in the heart of a lotus flower one single drop of this compassionate water is enough to bring back the refreshing spring to our mountains and rivers listening to the bell i feel the afflictions in me begin to dissolve my mind calm my body relax a smile is born on my lips following the sound of the bell my breath brings me back to the safe island of mindfulness in the garden of my heart the flowers of peace bloom beautifully
so it's it's deep i'm just getting goosebumps and it's very difficult uh, okay so this is it i hope uh, uh, this was useful and uh, i hope uh, we can all i hope this inspires you in some way uh, to start on the path if you resonate with this uh, with this topic and inspires all of us in some way to start becoming a bodhisattva start start on be on the start on the path of the bodhisattva so uh, let's, uh, please do share your comments and thoughts and feedback right um, links are there in the description if you want to know in detail uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you namo buddhaye namo buddhaye